Oh, shit. Today I want to give an important safety tip when dealing with golf wax in the field. Now golf wax has hundreds of applications. Should you choose to use one of those applications and you choose to do it in the field, you need to be safe. Now the proper way to melt golf wax would be to have a bowl, okay, fill it half full of water, place a smaller bowl inside that, then place your golf wax inside that small bowl. When the water is heated up from the large bowl, it will heat the smaller bowl and then melt the wax. And that's under optimum conditions. Now should you not have that option in the field and you want to use open flame, there's a safe way to do that. And I'm going to show you that right now. Prior to melting your golf wax, what you want to do is go ahead and clear an area off. Make sure it's flat, level, get all the dry, loose debris out of the way. Anything that could catch fire, get it out of the way. Get your desired amount of wax, place it on your stove, make sure you're level. Turn your gas on, light your stove. Now, once you see about two thirds of this wax melting, what you wanna do is take the heat, turn it off, and remove it from the fire. The heat of the pan alone will continue to melt your wax, and that's the safe way to do this in the field. We're getting close right here. And go ahead and turn the fire off. Remove it from the heat. Now the important thing to do is remain calm. Simply turn the gas off, remove your pan from the fire. Now think of this as a large candle. You need to smother it so it'll go out. I'm gonna use the cardboard in the back of my notepad. Deprive the oxygen. If it's not left on long enough, it comes right back. And there you go. Welcome back. That was nuts. But I wanted you to see the dangers of golf wax. The important takeaways are, one, follow directions. If you can't follow directions, find a safe way to do something. Number two, remain calm. Should that flash point or ignition point, or should it boil over and it catches fire or burst into flame, you need to remain calm and snuff it out. Thanks for the comments, views, support. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.